So take a look at this one. This is another one that will uh, open some eyes. Uh, grading the Browns offense during the uh, Week 9 loss to the Chargers. <laughs> Browns offensive stats, 26 of 46. That's not bad. 235, a lot of that was in the second and, and some garbage time, including the touchdowns. Three interceptions. Um, the rushing stats even worse. 79 yards on 24 attempts, 3.3 yards a carry. Against light boxes because they were playing zone. Again, that comes back to the offensive line. Browns offensive game plan uh, play calling, they give it a C. I'd give it a D. And the offensive execution is an F. Um, it might not be even an F. It might be not applicable because they didn't execute at all. Uh, I'm watching the game, and I'm just like, every time I thought I could get something out of it, I'm, I'm sitting in the stands, and I'm like, my mouth is just at the ground. I could not believe what I was seeing. It, it was almost like, they didn't come out to play this week. It was as bad as it could get. And then the throws that Jameis was Winston or was Winston was making. It just makes me mad that the Browns are the low hanging fruit and we continue to prove everyone right. Like all this week you heard, well, Jameis is going to come back down to earth and he'll throw some interceptions and oh, Nick Chubb's not going to be the running back that we saw. And here we are, everything's unfolding in front of our eyes for the low hanging fruit for these people to be right. So I, this is going to be an interesting eight weeks moving forward because you're going to see what guys really want to move forward with this organization. And when you hear guys like David and Joku being thrown around in trade talks and Miles Garrett, where there's smoke, there's fire. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but it's something that we're going to have to be paying attention to and seeing how much these uh, effort these guys are given moving forward. Because let's be honest, we're playing for drafts right now.